All right, thanks, DJ. It was Inauguration Day here in Rhode Island as Governor Raimondo was sworn in for her second term. Raimondo promising to redouble her efforts to boost the economy, improve education, make health care more affordable, and promote inclusiveness. Raimondo defeated Cranston Mayor Republican Alan Fung and Independent Joe Trillo by winning more than 52% of the votes in November's election. Not only did Governor Raimondo take her oath of office today, but so did the state's four other general members and members of the General Assembly. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado was at today's events. She joins us now with more. Steph. Caroline, it was a busy day here at the State House as the governor and lawmakers were sworn in. Both Democratic leaders of the House and Senate retained their power, but not without some opposition. Congratulations. 75 representatives and 38 senators sworn into office for the next two years. The Senate re-electing Dominic Ruggiero to lead them and the House re-electing House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello. My number one priority will be phasing out the car tax and eliminating it completely. 47 members voted for Mattiello. Speaker Mattiello has answered my questions and dealt with all of my concerns. I consider the speaker to be gender neutral when it comes to dealing with issues. <laughs> During the vote, you could hear from inside the chamber protesters chanting against him out in the halls. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, oh. 19 Democrats voted against the speaker, part of a vocal opposition mounting since November. I'm very firm in the belief that he is not ideal for Rhode Island, that he does not care about women. It is, in fact, that bills aren't making it to the floor for a vote and that bills, when they come to the floor, particularly in the last few days of the session, they come altered in ways that are often a surprise and a disappointment to us. We asked Mattiello about that so-called reform caucus and their calls for change in the way things are done on Smith Hill. We will make sure that our rules are fair, um, promote collaboration, are very inclusive to all, but that there's an appropriate screening process so bad ideas don't go through. The start of the General Assembly session was just a few hours after Governor Gina Raimondo and other statewide office holders were sworn in in a windy noontime inauguration. The governor touting the improved economy over the past four years in her inaugural address. We've changed the way we do economic development, changed the way we invest in infrastructure, and changed the way we do job training. And the governor is expected to further detail her policy proposals for the next year at her State of the State address in two weeks. She also has a budget deficit she needs to handle. At the State House, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.